Welcome to another Fast Tech video. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That costs you nothing and it helps us out a lot. So please go ahead and do that before we start this video. This presentation was brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver that not only disassembles your Xbox, but also your PlayStation and all other electronics products. It even has a bit you can use to disassemble McDonald's toys with. Links in the description box and the top comment. Let's get started. In today's video guide, I'm going to show you guys how to fix or replace your Xbox Series X disk drive. So if your Xbox Series X is not reading your game discs anymore, or if it makes noises when you insert a disc, you may need to service or replace your disk drive. I'm going to show you everything from cleaning the laser lens, which is the easiest fix, to replacing the entire disk drive. And there are some steps that you need to take, which I'm gonna be going through in this video today. So let's get started. To start disassembly, we're gonna need a T8 bit on our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. And we're gonna either go through the sticker or remove the sticker, which exposes the screw. And we're gonna go ahead and remove this screw right here. Once we have this screw removed, you can grab the pry tool or any prying tool, but this pry tool is from our Fast Tech Pro Toolkit. And we're going to remove this sticker right here. Lift it up. Same screw we're going to see under that sticker. Once this screw is removed, we should be able to get this panel off by sticking a pry tool in here and then just lifting up the panel like this. Now one thing you won't see in your Xbox Series X is this wire that's running down here. This is for the LED light mod that I did in an earlier video. So ignore this wire, you will not see this in your Series X. So we're trying to get to the disk drive to do a disk drive replacement which hides under this cover which is conveniently labeled disk optical drive and so we're going to remove also T8 screws so now we're going to have to remove the stand and there's a locking mechanism that holds it in place so the locking piece is this piece right here we stick our pry tool in here and once we've stuck our pry tool in here now we should be able to rotate the stand off And once this clip is lifted up, now we can rotate like that. And then the stand is gonna come off. Now, there's one screw here that we have to remove to get the disk drive cover off for whatever reason. I don't know why they decided to do it this way, but it is what it is. Just one more annoying step. And now we should be able to get this cover off. Uh, I think it's just caught in something probably, yep. And now this panel is gonna come off. That's the disk drive cover. We get that out of the way. We're gonna remove the power cable for the disk drive just by lifting it out. It's gonna come out easily. Same thing with the SATA cable, which is for data. And now we should be able to just pull out the disk drive at this point. And that's the disk drive right there. This is a model DG6M5S. We do sell these disk drives on our website. And I'm gonna show you guys how to replace this properly because a lot of people when they replace these, they'll just take their new disk drive which they order from Amazon or whatever. That's your first mistake. You should have ordered from fasttechstore.com. Comes with a lifetime warranty. And we got tech experts. I'll personally call you myself if you have any issues installing these. You don't see Jeff Bezos doing that for you. So go ahead to fasttechstore.com if you need a disk drive. So once you've ordered this disk drive, what you need to do is remove the disk drive logic board, this piece right here, which is inside. Take that out. 
and install it into the new disk drive. This is very, very important, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Without this step, your new disk drive is not going to work with your motherboard because there's a key on, on the logic board of these that is paired to the motherboard. So in other words, the motherboard and the disk drive logic board is married. So you need to remove the disk drive logic board and put it in there. So let's get this Xbox Series X out of the way. We're gonna remove these screws. And these are Phillips screws, also available in the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit. We're gonna put a Phillips head, probably a bigger Phillips head. I would say a size, I think a uh, size one should work on these. Yes, a size one Phillips. Get these screws out. four of them and as I mentioned before make sure to order this at fasttechstore.com and also like the video if it helps you out once these four screws are out we're gonna lift this bottom panel there's some ribbon cables that we have to remove there's this one here there's a clip that lifts up there's this one here and there's two wires that we're gonna have to desolder using a soldering iron which would look something like this. This is a Weller. Uh, you could also use the Hacko FX 951, which we sell on our website at fasttechstore.com. We got some of the best prices on these. There's one more cable right here that we're gonna remove. So while this soldering iron is heating up, I'll tell you once again that you need to remove this green logic board right here and install it into your new disk drive. Otherwise, this is not going to work. I don't care if your new disk drive has a logic board in it already. You have to take out this one and install it into your new disk drive. So I think our soldering iron is heated up enough. There's this wire here that we need to desolder. And then there's this one wire here that we need to resolder. One's black, one's red. And if you pay attention, you'll see that they're labeled B and R. So B for black, R for red, in case you didn't already know. Now there's three screws that we have to remove. This one, this one, this one. I'm gonna use a double zero Phillips from our Fastech Pro Auto Kit. This tool kit will save you a lot of time when doing electronics disassemblies. As you can clearly see, in this video demonstration. Once we've gotten those screws out, we take our logic board out, and this would be the logic board from the old disk drive. All right, this would be your original logic board, and you must always handle it with care. You see, I'm only holding it on the sides. If you're not wearing uh, anti-static gloves, or if you don't have an anti-static mat under your feet like I do, don't touch any of these components. If you short something on this board, your Xbox is screwed because without this, your Xbox is not going to read game discs. So make sure you treat this board with respect how you would treat your main board. So once you have your original disk drive logic board out, you can recycle your old disk drive, get it out of the way. We also have a recycling program for these as well. So if you wanna send us your old disk drive or your old electronics, there's a link in the description box showing you how to do that. We're gonna get our new disk drive. So for example, now this is my new disk drive. So once you have the new disk drive in, ordered from fasttechstore.com, we're gonna reinstall the logic board. Alternatively, if you don't wanna replace the whole disk drive, you can also replace the laser lens only, but that will only work if, you, if your disk drive doesn't have any mechanical issues like that. That means the disk still goes in and the drive accepts the disk, but then after it'll spin for a bit, you'll hear it spinning and it doesn't spin anymore. That's most likely a dirty or a dead laser. I'll show you how to remove the laser. There's three screws, one, two, and three. These three screws have to be removed and then the laser assembly comes out. And remember, if you're replacing the whole disk drive you don't need to do this process anymore you can skip to this timeline to reassemble 
your Xbox with a new disk drive. Once you have these three screws loosened, you can lift them out. You don't have to get the screws out all the way. And now you have access to the laser lens. This is the thing that reads your disc. Now, sometimes this laser lens gets dirty. You should never touch it ever, but sometimes this thing gets dirty and I'll show you how to clean that. What you wanna get is like Q-tips, you know, regular Q-tips from your pharmacy or dollar store. You grab a Q-tip, some isopropyl alcohol, also found at a pharmacy or we also do sell this on our website at fasttextstore.com and what you do is you spray a little bit of isopropyl on your q-tip some of you are going to be tempted to use water okay if you are going to use water make sure it's distilled water okay because tap water has minerals and contaminants in it that will damage your laser so you put some isopropyl alcohol ideally don't be a cheap ass and go in a circular motion on top of the laser you'll see that it moves around a little bit but don't go like this or up and down go in a circular motion all right clean the surface and then use the dry end to dry it if you want. But if you're using isopropyl, you don't have to worry about that because this stuff evaporates on its own. But then go in a circular motion and your laser should be clean. Now, if, if you had stuck objects in the disk drive, you would be able to remove them at this point because you have access to the entire disk drive at this point. So if you have a kid and lots of times kids would stick stuff in there, they're like, Put in cards or whatever and what happens is they get stuck in these rollers right here as you can see my pry tool is coming straight through they get stuck in these rollers or or, um, or these or this mechanism here or sometimes you'll find coins and other objects if you have children so that's how you fix the disk drive if you have any issues with it and don't forget that we do sell the all the parts at fasttechstore.com so now i'm gonna start reassembling the disk drive goes in like this this side goes under and now we can just re retighten the screws the fast tech pro auto kit come in and clutch once again saving us time and as we know time is money so now if you fix your disk drive or you've replaced the disk drive entirely remember this logic board comes out from your old disk drive, your broken disk drive. You need to take out this logic board, install it into your new disk drive, and we install it the same way we uninstalled it. There is this plastic clip that the logic board must go under, otherwise your board will flex. Make sure these wires don't get in the way. There's a ribbon cable here. Push it all the way in, all the way up to the blue line here, and then push the clip down. Same thing here. Push the clip down. Same thing with this one. That's the large ribbon cable for the laser lens, and then push the clip down. We have to re-solder these wires. Soldering iron's heating up. Makes a loud buzzing sound. We're gonna solder the black wire to where it says B. Definitely need a new tip on this thing, no doubt. That's why we need you to buy parts from FastTechStore.com so we can finally buy a new tip for our soldering iron. So now that we've got the wire soldered back on, and don't worry guys, soldering is not as difficult as people think it is. Basic soldering is very, very easy as you can see. Now we're gonna install these small Phillips screws back in their place. 
here, here, and here. And now we're going to install the bottom panel for the disk drive back on. The side that has this extra protrusion goes in the back. Like that. And then we're going to install these bigger Phillips screws into our disk drive. Now at this point, your new disk drive would be ready for installation in our Xbox Series X. So now we're gonna simply slide the disk drive in like this. Install the data cable. SATA just pushes down and be careful with the power cable because it only goes in one way. There's a little plastic little uh, protrusion, little uh, nub here that needs to be on the lower end. So I'll show you guys exactly how it goes in. All right, so you guys don't mess this up because if you mess this up, bad things happen. It goes in only one way and it's this way. You see the little plastic thing. It only goes in one way and has these places where this goes like that I'm emphasizing this part because if you install this backwards you could short the logic board because this is the power wire you don't want to screw this up now we can install this panel at the back after we've brilliantly installed our new disk drive in from fasttechstore.com I can't emphasize that enough. We're gonna put the cover back on. Now you'll notice that this cover actually holds the disk drive in place. Now there's these, there's this rubber housing inside. And you wanna make sure that it hasn't fallen out of place because this is what holds the disk drive into position. So you wanna make sure that it goes on the disk drive as it should and push it down. It's a very nice fit. You'll feel it go on. Uh, kind of like I don't want to use the analogy, but you guys know what I mean We're gonna install this black screw at the bottom It's very unnecessary screw as you can see when I push down the, the cover on the back This hole kind of lines up like like that and that's where it should be Like this and then we stick our black torque screw in here and tighten it up Let's switch back to our T8. And then one torque screw goes in here. Once we've gotten that screw in, Next is installing the stand. It goes on like this. And then next we're gonna install the stand. It goes on like this. This line should be roughly around here. And then you cl click it into place like that. Now we're gonna install the back panel back on. This side goes in first like that and then you can push it down there's some clips you're gonna hear them click make sure these clips in the bottom don't get in the way it should be in like this and finally we're gonna install the last two green torque screws back in one here
and one here. The last part is this sticker that covers the screw. And now our Xbox Series X disk drive repair and disk drive disassembly video has concluded. But before we can conclude, we must test. Because your people will not forgive me if I don't test this device. I will get comments. So I'm going to plug it in to make sure that our work is good. So to help me out, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, that helps me out a lot. And also consider fasttechstore.com when buying parts. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna turn on the system. That's my uh, LED mod check out our uh and that's the led my and that's the led mod right there check out this video it's also going to be in the description box where i showed you guys how to do this didn't get as many views as it should have so make sure to show that video some love i'll uh include that video at the end of this video it's going to be in a tile on the right side let's move to the front for the business side of things as long as we hear it spinning, it works. And you can hear some healthy disk drive movement. That's what a working disk drive is supposed to sound like. So that concludes our FastTech Xbox Series X disk drive replacement slash repair video. And again, like the video, comment, share, subscribe and make sure to buy parts like the disk drive or motherboard if you need anything for series x or xbox in general check us out at fasttechstore.com otherwise muhammad ali is gonna knock your ass out thanks for watching another fast tech video before you leave make sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button that helps us out more than you know this is shiroz from fast tech signing out and i'll see you in the next one